Welcome to Mason M's channel, I'm your host, Mason FM, and today, welcome back to some more Pokemon Academy life, forever. Well, last time we got into Kobacon Academy, our Pikachu caused mayhem, and, and we, we, and, uh, that's pretty much it. And without further ado, let's jump right back into the game. It's finally the first day of classes. I spent the weekend getting to know this place, so I shouldn't get lost again. I'm getting goosebumps, let's do this. Ready to get some breakfast? Yeah, never skip breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. I'm pretty sure I read a headline somewhere that had, had was misinfo by Big Breakfast. We're heading to main cafeteria. You got it? Oh, can Chu come with us? I went to ahead and checked with the front desk yesterday. And they said Pokemon must remain in their rooms or in a Pokeball outside of the room unless authorized by the Academy. So I guess we can bring him as long as he stays in his Pokeball. Not sure he'll go for that. Perhaps not then. Yeah, some Pokemon are just don't like to spend time in their Pokeballs. I tried putting my Pichu back home in a luxury ball. You know, that'd be cozier. Didn't do anything, and cost me a good chunk of change, too. Dudes, that's actually pretty dope. It's like you've got rogue Pokemon or something. It's odd. I never heard of a Pokemon that exhibits that sort of behavior before today. And now I've heard of two? Maybe it has something to do with their evolutionary line? Pichu evolves into Pikachu, after all. Whoa, it does? I thought it was a plus little mining situation. They're symbiotic, but don't evolve. Then I really, really blow your mind when I tell you about Raichu. Sorry, Chu, but you're going to have to stay here until I get back. Unless you want to come along in your Pokeball. Alright, suit yourself. There's some food in my drawer, but don't eat all of it at once. We'll be back after classes are over. And don't sneak out and follow me, got that? Pika! Pikachu! Yeah? We're going to the cafeteria, aren't we? I kind of figured you wouldn't want to come. I require food to live. Didn't think I'd have to tell you that one. You could go alone. I could. But you don't want to? The parameters I was operating under have changed now that I want to go to the cafeteria and eat a delicious breakfast with you. You want my life story or can we leave it at that? Well, I guess let's go then. Good to have you with us, happenstance. It's, uh, it's Hilbert. What? What? Why? What did I say? Oh, hey, May. Waiting for us long? Now, good to see you again. I didn't get to see much of you over the weekend. Well, even if Brendan and I were running the same kinds of errands, I wasn't planning on third wheeling the whole time. Speaking of third wheeling, you still haven't met my other roommates besides Serena, have you? Hopefully we'll bump into at least a couple of them today on the way to class. Well, if I see any of them, I'll let you know. Oh, that reminds me, sweetheart. Have you given Red your f phone number? Huh? No, I haven't. Good catch. Here, Red. That song's cat. That I gotta say, that is really catchy. Hey, why don't you give Red your contact info too? That way, if my phone's turned off or whatever, you can still reach me. Huh? Oh, I'm sure. If you're okay with that, not a problem. No problems here. All right, let's head out. I don't want to know if that's my stomach or. Helen Brand's growling, but it's nothing like a big plate of eggs won't fix. Damn, this is fancy. I suppose such luxuries were a tad out of reach in Palatown? Yeah. Nothing like Kalos, I bet. I heard that in Kalos, even the smallest village has a five-star restaurant. You've heard a lot of interesting things about Kalos. 
Hey, May, look, they got Basculin Tartar! Yeah, but you're a vegetarian, sweetie. Uh, of course. I didn't forget. It's just Basculin Tartar. Swanky. Damn it. Where is she? Come on out, you! What's about... What's that about? Oh, look who's joining us this morning. Wait. Wait, don't tell me. You're going to say personal space, right, Calamari? I was going to, yes, but now it seems redundant to do so. Hmm. Serena... Uh... uh Calum talked with her a few times during the weekend, but it seems like he's still treating her with obvious forced casualness. I'll add that to my list of things to ask about when we're closer. Morning, Serena. Good morning, Red. How now? Don't you look dashing in your new uniform? Yes, doesn't he? It fits him very well on him, I dare say. Well, it, well, it's certainly a new look. Perhaps I've grown just grown accustomed to seeing you like this. Yep, perhaps. What the hell kind of mind games are these two people? These two playing? Hey, is your doormate Hilda around? Oh no, I don't believe so. She said she was looking for someone. Uh oh. What is it, dude? Well, every time we talk about someone, they show up. So Hilda Lith will probably be here any second. Don't be so superstitious. It's not that, man. I just don't think we can physically fit any more people here. You're right. I'll grab us a table. I'll go with him and make sure he doesn't start a fight. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to get some grub. Well, now that your friends have stepped away for a moment, perhaps we could talk? Yes, we can do that. Oof, cold. Wait, his friends haven't stepped away. I'm right here. It's about... About the student council. Oh? We've done leadership work before, right, Calum? Having membership in the Kobacon Student Council on our resumes could really, really good to future employers. Hmm, I'm not aware of the specifics, but I heard that Kobacon Student Council is extremely hard to, to get into. Yes, we'd only have a month to campaign, but we've certainly bested greater odds before together. Together before, I don't know. Remember Professor Sycamore's internship and how we, hard we worked on getting you that? True, I never would have managed to snag that without your her ceaseless support. In any case, I think we should go for it since we'd only have a month to campaign. If we fail, well, there's not a lot of time lost at least. True, that would be a significant time commitment. Far more so if we win, but perhaps it's something look go to look into. Well, we have have kinda to decide now. It's our third day here. That chairing guide's already put up posters half across the school and is giving speeches in the courtyard. Yes, well, the given policies he exposes, I wouldn't be surprised if the school's administration school as administration shoots him dead before the weekend. God damn! We might want to be le less radical to maintain our electability. Yes, a bit. Well, I'm unsure. I truly need a bit more time to decide. Can you give me until tomorrow? Okay, but you will answer me tomorrow, right? I swear it. All right, let's meet up here tomorrow morning and figure this out, then. Bye, Calum. Bye, Red. Bye, Serena. Oh, so she did know I was here. I was starting to wonder. You all right? I'm wrestling whether or not huh, I, I should join the student council. I certainly want to, but I spend almost every day with her. It's pretty clear that's what she wants. You don't want that? I'm no longer sure why I want to be honest. 
but I appreciate you being my surround sounding board while I figure it out. Well, enough of that, shall we go? Yeah, let's go get breakfast with the others. Da dunt. She's approaching you. Da dunt. Yeah, got it, thanks. Da dun da dun da dun da dun da dun. Why am I sweating so much? Hey, uh, can I help you? Hi, I'm Bianca. Charon told me to go find the handsome guy in the red hat. Uh, so of course I thought that was you, but before that, I thought it was the other guy in the red hat, but he just scowled at me, and then I thought maybe it was the other other guy in the red hat, but then he said he had no idea who Charon was. Now I'm asking you, and I really hope you're the one because I'm getting really flustered talking to all these cute guys and with red hats. Wait, why didn't you ask me? Oh, you're cute, really. But I think Charon was looking for a student, not a professor. Uh <laughs> oh my god, no! Caleb got roasted indirectly, no! I I'm 18. Self-confidence ruined. Oh. Anyway, are you red because Charon's impatient and red hat number one is at our table arguing with my doormate Hilda and... Wait, did you say Hilda? Oh, you know her? Well, I know of her. She's the only thing that scares Hilbert, apparently. Uh, Hilbert is red hat number one. Okay. So, are you red? Oh yeah, does Charon need me now? I was just about to get some food and sit with my doormates. Nope, he just wanted to give you a message. What, like a mafia don? Red sleeps with the fish, does he understand that? <laughs> the message is, I'd like to talk to you after school. Please meet me here. Why does be this person look like a, a secretary? I'm being honest. That's it. Yep. Uh, alright then. I'll be at the cafeteria later. Mission accomplished. Bye-bye, Bianca. I can't tell if this is just what it's like in the city or th if there's something about me that attracts peculiar characters. Maybe I'm the weird one. Hey, guys. Buddy, what's the holdup? Calamari returned a bit ago. He looks a bit shell-shocked. Just talking to another student. Hey, didn't you say you were going to stop Hilbert from getting into any fights? What? I thought I did. He was here just a moment ago. Well, I happen to know that Hilda's per this Hilda person and he's so terrified of has made contact. Guess it makes sense he couldn't hide for more than four days. Dudes, don't want to rush you, but homeroom's pretty soon. Oh shoot, you're, I guess you're right. I guess I better cram the, uh, the rest of this down before we go. Hey, could you like put a piece of toast in your mouth and run to class? I could, but I don't really see why. I have time to finish it here. Uh, never mind. Hey, Calum, will you be okay? I'm 18, not old. My hair is naturally gray. I'm 18, not old. My hair is naturally gray. Self-confidence issues right now. Right, well, uh, we gotta go. Make sure you come with us, okay? Huh? Oh, yes, of course. Just give me a bit. Alright, let's do this. What last one to homeroom assignment board is a bad egg. Well, this area of the campus is amazing. See what it says on the facade there? Koba Khan Academy. And all in the unknown language right there. Yeah. Supposedly, this building has been around for nearly a century. It's hard to believe the condition of this place makes it seem like it was built yesterday. I'm having a difficult time ma imagining what th this is what... It'll be he looking at each day from now on. Not that I'm complaining, I'm just excited to be here. Same as you guys, right?
Huh, I guess I ran a bit too quickly. Eh, yeah, whatever, I need to get inside and check it, the homeroom assignments. There's a cluster of students gathered by a bulletin board. That must be the homeroom list. Oh, here's us, right here. Wait, Oak? Professor Oak, like Old Man Oak? Like my neighbor? Like Blueberry's grandpa? He teaches her? The faculty page of the website didn't say anything about this. And why is my name on in a different font? It looks like someone just hand wrote my name in. Well, well, well. I said, well, well, well. I heard you the first time. At least look me in the look at me when you're talking to me. But wow, you actually got here before the bell. Still slower than me, but that's natural. In what world have I ever been slower than you? So, which classes are you in? Your grandpa's according to this. You could have told me old man Oak was working here. I would have seen if he could pull some strings. Gramps? Are you serious? Why? I thought him, I told him to. Ah, who cares? Now I have a front row seat to watch you bomb in the class. Oh, you're, you're all with Professor Oak? That voice. Oh, uh, hey, uh, you. Long time no see. Did you get lost on the way here? Hey, give me a break. I thought we were done with that. Didn't you say you had fun? Don't get it twisted. I had lots of fun. Smug. How do you know this windbag? Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt a girl when she's t talking to her friend. Yeah, right. I bet you don't even know his name. Obviously, it's... Huh, I can smell her perfume. Psst. What's your name again? Uh, way too close for comfort. It's a red Sugimori. And, uh, I'm a firm believer in personal space. Uh, yeah, red. We're besties. Always been. You're not fooling anyone. Wait, Red? Red! Oh, you're Red! You're friends with May, right? You know May? I would hope so, being her doormate and all. Okay, I met Bianca, Serena, and May, so flipping the coin of probability. Your leaf? That's my name. Oh, God, you better cut the crap. Your acting is so bad at that it's pissing me off. <gasps> Boo! Give it a rest, Blueberry. I know who Leaf is. I ran into her on her first day here, and she helped me out of a tough spot. We both ran short on time, so we forgot to introduce ourselves. Like I give her a tad as ass what happened. Ugh, you two have wasted my time enough today. I've got places to go and things to do. Smell ya later. Smell ya? What does that even mean? It's Blue, or as I like to call him, Blueberry. He said that for as long as I've known him, and I've known him for a long time. Not that I'm particularly proud of it. So he's been smelling you for a long time? What a creep. <laughs> oh, I do not want to imagine that. No. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Let's go, Red. We'll be late for our first class. Leaf, huh? And Blueberry, and me. In the same room for the next two hours. Every day for the next year. This is going to be quite the year. May, I can't believe we're in the same homeroom! This, these coincidences are just piling up today. Small world. Red, I see you and Leaf finally got acquainted. May, do you remember the guy I told you about when we first met? Turns out I, you knew him all along. Oh, Red, since you ran ahead without us after breakfast, now I can believe how you got lost on the first day. 
That's okay, a strong sense of adventure is a good thing. I'll never be able to live this down, will I? A boy in the forbidden territory of the terrible cheer squad, sensing impending doom, he had his position, his poison. He picked his poison and sought refuge in the abyssal bathroom of the fairer sex. It was then a beautiful maiden, a girl he knew nothing about, happened to stumble upon him at the right time, pulling him into the light and guiding him to the sanctuary. Thank you for the epic summary. A curtsy? So she's unbelievably smug. Yep, she is. Since you're here, May, I'm assuming Brendan is in another class? Brendan is in class 1A next door. Oh, and your dad's? You should tell your father, Miss Birch, that his recent article regarding the pros and cons of invasive bug Pokemon as biological control and well being received has been well received and impressed. Sam! Hello, lad! Great to see you've settled in nicely here. Sam, what's going on? Why am I here? Why are you teaching? Why didn't you tell me that you'd be working at Kubicon? How? Red, there's a time and place for everything, but not now. Ugh! I've heard that before. Also, in front of other students, Professor Oak, if you please. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Sorry, Sam, I mean, Professor, I mean, Oak, Professor Oak. Anyway, Miss Birch, on the topic of your father. Alright, I guess Dad's work is in the field, has been paying off. For the last couple of years, if it's not a swarm of Beedrill chasing him around, it's an, it'd be an Ariodose or the occasional Scyther. Ah, uh, are you well versed in bug types, May? I assume you've gained a lot of experience while assisting with your father's work. Yeah, I didn't like them at first, but I'm planning to take the bug type elective. I'd like to go to Unova someday too. I've heard they got really powerful bug types there. I see, so what Pokemon types will the three of you be focusing on this year? Well, there's bug type, but I'm also planning on taking the fire and fighting. Grass, electric, and dragon over here. Solid choices, varied and versatile. And you, lad? I'm, uh... I'm not planning on specializing. I'm just going to take classes that help the Pokemon I can get my hands on. Oh crap, did I say something wrong? Of course you are! Of course you are! Lad, you never fail to impress me. You're a champion if I've ever seen one. Uh... Thanks, Professor Oak. Does that mean it's the right hate decision? I couldn't possibly tell you that, Red. But it's the one you've made. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, I would recommend that for now, at least you focus on at least one type. You may find it hard to train up your Pokemon if you spread yourself too thinly. Well, excellent choices all around now. I hope you are ready. The bell will ring soon. Oh, no, go, so go ahead and find yourselves a seat. I'm going for electric and fire types. Just so I can be with these two. In classes. That's all. Okay, what the hell? Lad? You're on a first name basis with our homeroom teacher? Well, normally I call him Old Man Oak, but I don't call that... call him that to his face. We're not done talking about this for now, though. Let's sit together, May. Sorry, but since you'll be ho hopping around classes like a spoink, I bet we'll have plenty of chances to bond later. So, what do you think of Leaf Red? Absolutely charming. <laughs> She's a lot of fun to be around. Come sit by us. Well, I sure as hell won't be sitting by a blueberry. Good morning and welcome to your first class at Kobocon Academy. I'll be your teacher for this homeroom. You can call me Oak, but most people simply call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. Some people and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. I think we could skip this part. 
You all are smart enough to know what Pokemon are. Yes, we are, sir. I can't believe we are hearing Professor Oak talk right in front of us. The man's a legend. I know. My dad's a huge fan of his. We got all his encyclopedias, A to Z. Oh man, he's gonna flip out when I tell him I'm in this class. Even outside of Kanto, everyone knows him. I didn't know he was looked up by so many people, like he's a superhero to them. But to me, he's just my neighbor. Now, something you need to know about this class is very extremely important for your final grade. Last year, everyone who failed to pass this class has also failed to graduate. Holy crap! All of a sudden, I don't feel like I'm being in this class anymore. Uh, so if there's one thing I, class I absolutely can't screw up, it's this one. Yes, this class is a challenge, and, but if you put the, in the work and keep your studies, you should pass with flying colors. My job is not to assign you failing grades, but my job isn't not to coddle you either. My job is to make sure you graduate this school with the knowledge and skill to excel in the world of Pokemon. Which brings me to my next point. As you all know, Pokobacon is a, sing a very selective school and demands you pay give it your best at all times or you'll be surpassed by your peers. The graduation weight rate for this school is a fixed at 80%. It's not for the weak-willed or unmotivated. You gotta be kidding me! Is this a joke? What kind of school life is this? Sounds like some people didn't read the website, but I didn't pick up the brochure, so I guess we all have our blind spots. I guess Ethan wasn't the only person who didn't know about this. Of course, Blue isn't phased at all. And I didn't realize at first, but Hilbert is in this class, too. He's already new, of course. He isn't surprised. Um, yes, I wanted to clear that up. Now, are there any interested in competing in the Pokemon League after graduate? Just sh by a show of hands. A few dozen hands. Blue, Hilbert, Leaf. Oh, I should put my hand up but too. Take a good look around. Now everyone in the two middle sections, put your hands down. There are fewer hands than 10 students left with their hands raised. I think I know where this is going. That's the percentage of those who actually qualify for the Pokemon League. And it is even less for those who can make it there. Now don't let it discourage you. Let's just start with some... Professor Oak staring at something or someone. Yes, did you have a question? Ha! Huh, I'm just going to say this right now for all you quitters in this room. I'm getting into the Pokemon League and there's no chance in hell I'm that I'm not. God, why does he always have to be like this? It hasn't been 10 minutes since class started, and he's already been trying to start something. He tries so hard to be cool and fails so hard that it's sickening. I'm not stopping until I wipe the floor with every single regional Pokemon League champion. You're looking at the next world champion. Please sit down. Erm, um, what was your name again? What? Cramps, it's me. Yes, I know it's you, but what was it? It's Blueberry! Oh my god, did you actually just say that? Balls red! Ugh, that's right. Anyway, sit down. Man, what a load of... Can't believe... Blueberry's really glaring at you. Yeah, well, he gets like this... It's just to grin and give him a thumbs up. Yeah, this is what you get for being a dick to me earlier. That just made him matter. I'm liking this class already. Right then, that's enough talking. Let's take a roll call now while you're all in good mood. May? Is May here? Present. There you are. Hilbert? Here. Okay, now Whitney? Whitney, are you here? Hmm. Absent on the first... D Wait! Huh. Who's that redhead who just came rolling in? I guess that's Whitney. And uh, now she's 
posing like she just finished an acrobatic stunt at the Pokeathlon. Here I am. I'm not late. I was just waiting for the perfect time to make my grand entrance. She calmly sits down in the empty chair in the front of uh, hunt from me like nothing happened. I have to say I'm impressed with her ability to keep a straight face after that performance. Please continue. All right, I'll mark you on time, but no more of that. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You can count on me. Very good. Flannery? I'm... here. Sorry, I'm not a big fan of mornings. Fan or not, try to get to class on time from now on. I'll mark you on time, too. Yeah, okay. She's kinda intimidating. Reminds me of one of those biker gang chicks that hang out west of Celadon City. Anyway, now that she's sitting next to me, I've got May to my left, Flannery to my right, Whitney in front of me, and behind me is... This chick, another cute girl. Is this some kind of social experiment? Invite a ridiculously unqualified student to Kobacon, but surround them by attractive women so they can't focus at all. Well, it's a good thing whoever was setting up this didn't know I'd find guys hot too. You heard this, folks! Red likes boys and girls! Uh, joking aside, it's not really canon. This game is, like I said, a fan game. But for the sake of it, for this canosity in this game, he likes both. Alright, Flannery just sat down. Looks like she's staring at me. Does she expect me to say something? Or maybe her eyes are just glassy from tiredness. Um. Rough morning, huh? Who wants to know? Uh, I just thought that you kind of looked tired. Not anymore, though. How about you mind your own business? I don't remember asking for your opinion on anything. Chill out, Flynn. I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it. Yes, thank you. It's the first day. You should keep it on a little on the DL, girl. Psh. That's why he's ease up on Flannery. She's a little rough around the edges in the morning. I understand morning isn't exactly my favorite time of day either. Heh. <laughs> we were almost late because Flannery slept through her alarm clocks. They don't work, Whitney. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I think it's because you snore louder than the clocks. I do not snore! Hey, what are you smirking at? I don't snore, you hear me? I believe you, so you're Whitney and you're Flannery. I'm Red. Nice to meet you, Red. Yeah, sorry about getting on your case earlier. Don't worry about it. Keep it down back there. Alright, we got really gotta buckle down and focus now. The rest of your cl class passes without incident. It's now time to pick the elective you're going to go to. It's important to remember two things. Taking an elective class raises your proficiency, and your proficiency in a type is the equal to the highest level a Pokemon can, that you own can level up to. Pokemon already above that level cap will not be de-leveled, but they won't, won't level up. So essentially, they'll be at a stalemate. Like, if you catch them at level 10, and your level cap is at, like, level 1 for that typing, they'll stay at level 10. But they'll keep the experience until you get, like, your proficiency in that typing up. Gotcha. For the rest of the reason, it is advisable to focus on at least one type for a while. It will be, however, a little while longer before, t before you Pokemon beginning experience from battles. Okay, gotcha. So we're going to start with electric typings for one reason. We have Pikachu on our team in our dorm, so we have to know more if we want to make him strong, you know? Choose electric. We're going to electric. You spot an unfamiliar student and go to greet her. Hey there. Eh? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, hi. Can I help you? Uh, no, I mean, I don't think so. Oh, I was just going to say hi. Wait, does that mean, um, you're just saying hi? Yeah, I'm Red. What's your name? 
You don't know my... No, of course not. It's Rosa, here to steal the show and your heart! Uh, wow, you often introduce yourself like that? Six days a week! It's kind of embarrassing to say that, huh? I really never thought about it before. Well, I mean, you looked confident while saying it. I think you should play it off well enough. Aw, uh, thanks, Red. I think I'd better think up a uh, new introducing myself, though. Hmm. It's Rosa stepping into the spotlight. All eyes on me! I devise work is workshopping it. Aw, uh, I had a good feeling about that one. Uh, have you considered just, like, uh, uh, saying, Hi, I'm Rosa? Huh? Would you believe me if I said I hadn't? Seems like a weird thing to lie about. Well, I'm not. And if I was you, you'd have no idea. Oh, are you a good liar? The absolute best. I don't know anyone who lies better than me. Let's hear one, then. What? You don't trust me? Uh, well, I mean... I'm just telling you something about myself. Why do I need to prove it? It doesn't hurt you to believe it, even if I was lying. So why? Why do I always need to prove myself? Why won't somebody please just believe me? Why does everyone hate? Wait, hold on, I was just curious. I was just... Psych! What? That was a lie. I'm not upset at all. Holy shit, that's potent. Why, thank you. I'm seriously impressed. You're, pre you're a pretty good actress. Eh? Oh, you mean... Well, thanks. No problem. Hmm, I wonder if you could use your acting skills in battle, like, to misdirect your po your opponents. Hmm, probably, but my Pokemon would need to know that I'm acting too. I'm not sure if I'm a good enough trainer to be able to teach him that most. Well, hey, that's why we're at Kobacon, right? Right. Sounds like you've got a phone call. Oh yeah, I need to answer this before class starts. Well, hey, good talking to you. We'll chat later. Sure. You spot and familiar student and go to greet him. Hi there. Oh, hey, nice hat. Thanks, I got it from... Hold it. Um, okay, for how long? About seven more words, I'd say. Seven more words? What does that mean? Locked on, Southwest Canto. Huh? I'm right, right? I mean, yeah, I lived in Palatown my whole life, and I've got the hat from there to her. Well, I mean, I actually got it from Old Man Oak, but he lives there too, so... Wait, that doesn't matter. How'd you know? It's a, I'm a pretty good at reading accents. As soon as you said hi there, I knew you'd had to be from Kanto. But I couldn't tell where until I had a bit more to go off of. Cool, is that useful? Not at all. It's a pretty neat trick, though. Well, it's a, it is pretty neat. What's your name? I'm Red. Nate. So how'd you end up with that ability? Well, I've lived all over. Military mom, you know. Guess you could call me a... A international. <laughs> no pun intended. What? Hell no! I intend one of every one of my puns. Puns are life. I agree. Puns are the most valid form of humor out there. Only cowards don't intend their puns. True. Interesting perspective. Not sure if I agree, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Water mostly. <laughs> Oop, gotta handle something. See ya, Red. See ya around. Huh? Ethan? Huh. Hey, Red. Good to see you. Crazy we both chose the same aim first elective, huh? Yeah, kinda wild. This seat taken? Go ahead. Huh? Looks like Loaf is patting the empty seat next to her. You dog, go on, get in there. 
I'm not going I'm not going to get in there. I'm just going to talk. Sure, sure. Hey, another class together. You must feel so happy to spend so much time with such a beautiful girl. I'm kind of feeling something different. Oh yeah, let me guess. Is it blessed? Lucky? You're in the ballpark. Attention! What, 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 what? This army looking guy just burst into the room yelling for no reason. Is, is this guy our teacher? What are you maggots sitting up around for? You got Diglett shit sunk in your ears? There's an officer in deck in this electric type class and his name is Lieutenant Surge. That means get your asses out of your chairs now. Jeez, I don't know what's going on, but I better do what he says before he kicks the crap out of me. Up, 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 up! Your recruits better start getting your act together unless you want to feel that my combat boot up your adolescent's assholes. Ow, my throat hurts for that. <laughs> hey, you can't treat us like this. Uh-oh, I don't like that look one bit. You're a teacher, right? Teachers c can't treat students like this. Th that's against school p p policy, isn't it? Do you think I'm cute, boy? Do you think I'm playing jokes? What? I've been given special permission to teach brats like you the meaning of discipline and respect. If you can't handle this training, then crawl back to your home and tuck on your mama's tits. I don't know. I, mm. Stand up straight, I said stand up. Now, wow. I want goddamn crying babies in here. Is this for real right now? <laughs> Who left? <laughs> That'd be me, sir. And jeez, I'm super sorry about it, but... Just so what the hell do you think you're doing, maggot? Uh, laughing, sir? I thought that was obvious, actually. Oh, wait, now I get it. I'm laughing at you, sir. I'm not sure if that came across as confusing. You, what's your name, boy? My name is Nate, sir. Aspiritia City is my home. Nate, I ought to choke the life out of you right here, right now. Wait, what did I do? I'm asking the questions now. What makes you think you have the right to disrespect me in my classroom? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Just all this explosive yelling and screaming, that big mouth of yours. I couldn't help but think that you looked like an electrode. He's... He's going to die. Straight up going to die. Well, rip... R.I.P. Nate. Gone too soon. Well, no shit. I admire your honesty, Private. In fact, I like you. Thanks, sir. I like you, too. Don't push it. What? Take a note from Nate, ladies. This man has no fear. Therefore, he has no weakness. If I hear you whimpering like the other maggot, and my right, you will unscrew your head and shit down your neck till it pushes out every hole out of your body. Now let's start with a quick two-mile run around the track. Let's go. I've seen legless shuggles move faster than you ass bags. <clears throat> Ow, that hurts my throat. Oh, God. If, I, if this is how it's going to be for every class, I might just end it all. Seriously? You kind of just have to keep your head down and hope he doesn't notice. I think every day will be like this. No, I recognize an actor when I see one, and w he was definitely putting a show on for the new students. Well, Rosa, we should probably head out now. I don't want him yelling at us. Talk to you later? Sure. My electric proficiency is at five? How? Wouldn't it be at one? But, yeah, my throat hurts now for that. Note to self, 
while editing drink a lot of water so this is the gymnasium I wonder if this is an official gym sanctioned by the Pokemon League most likely not I didn't read anything about that on the website when I was doing my research I think it's safe to assume it's just another fancy room in the Academy's collection so other than some old banners lining the walls this place is barren compared to the others old banners Dude, those are champion pennants. They're only given to winners of at least national tournaments. Yeah, but they're just banners. If it was the actual champions hanging there, then I'd be maybe impressed. That didn't sound the way I thought it was going to. Yeah, let's just ignore that. Hey look, there's the rest of the gang. With all of them together like that, they're going to make this room seem a lot livelier. Oh, and there's Missy. Hopefully she's feeling a bit better since I last saw her. What's her story? Wish I knew. Hey, there's Flannery. There's Whitney. Who the hell this person is, I don't know. But they look familiar. So doesn't these two. She's Particularly this one. I forget which gen. Looks like Blueberry's sitting alone. Kind of surprising. I'd thought he would have tried to surround himself with people by now. You know that guy? Yeah, we have a history. Oh, you dated? Ha! No, I still got some dignity. Trust me, his personality is not worth it. I don't know. I feel like my standards could learn to limbo for that guy. Ethan? Uh, so serious of all of a sudden. I want to say this in full seriousness. Don't do that to yourself. You can do better. <laughs> Alright, I'll take your word for it. Anyway, let's go sit by the gang. Don't want to end up like Mr. Too Cool for Friends. Yes, right, settle down. Are these guys our teachers? The guy on the left definitely looks like one. But the other guy looks like he's one of those mountain hermits you hear about on TV. Yeah, this guy looks like a t like a mountain hermit. This guy looks cool. Welcome to gym class. I'm Alder, he's Bruno. So this is Alder. That's Bruno. Gotcha. We'll be instructors for this year. Now, I bet you're all wondering what you'll actually be doing in this class. Well, it'll be just like the other gym classes you've probably have taken in your schools. Except we're not going to make you change into shorts and play sports in the school. We're all focused, eh, more focusing on your Pokemon training, not your bodies. But training your body is also important too. Ahem. <laughs> anyway, the real reason why this school has a gym class like this is to prepare your kids for the real Pokemon jams after you graduate. At least for those interested in tackling the league. Can any of you tell me why gyms exist in the first place? Gyms were created to weed out the skilled trainers from the mediocre trainers. If we didn't have gyms, oh, any trainer could directly attempt to challenge the league, overwhelming its resources. Or perhaps they least limit the pe number of people they, that they think they'd make good Pokemon trainers? Not from what I've seen. That's dumb, gyms are just a pain in the ass. Nuh-uh. Do you know how, how much bench press equipment costs? You need to use that thing for at least like a decade before it starts paying its for itself. I'm talking about Pokemon gyms, you idiot. Yeah, Misty has a point. Brendan's an idiot. On that section. Right, very good guesses, but the main purpose of a Pokemon gym is to allow trainers who are less experienced to test their skills against more experienced ones. Or on even footing. And that is what we're going to be doing in this class. Wait, you're telling us that we're going to be battle Pokemon battling in this class? Precisely. Everyone will have at least one battle a day. Though we won't be able to diving into that right away. First, we need to review the basics. You're also so busy trying to learn new things that sometimes you forget the most rudimentary skills. What are you saying? Teach us how to catch Pokemon or something? Yes, that's ver also a very important part of the curriculum. Sheesh! Isn't it simple? You just weaken it, use a status move as well, 
throw your ball at it. Hopefully it works. Even if it's some of you think you have everything you need to know about Pokemon battling, trust me when I say you don't. We've been in this field a lot longer than you have, and even we still don't have it down perfectly. <laughs> As I expected, Blueberry seems a bit irked about what Alder just said. I hope he doesn't make a scene like he did in Homeroom. Oh, excuse me for rambling on like that. Uh, Bruno, why don't you tell them more about this class? Very well. This gym it was first and foremost designed to be training ground for students and su as such is, is available for free use after class hours. Just bring your student ID and you receive unlimited access to its facilities. In addition to the exercise machines available, the gym also contains several battle simulators to allow students to experience what a live Pokemon match would feel like in real time. Excuse me, simulators? Are you saying that we won't have any be any live Pokemon matches here? Incorrect. We will hold live matches every day, in every class. On your own time, you may also hold battles here if you wish, but most take place in the battle hall. However, members of the battle team have priority to use the battle hall. What's the battle team about? Our school has a competitive battling team for students who wish to take their Pokemon training to the next level. It's a very selective club, so don't think about signing up so quickly. Uh, yeah. What does it take to get in there? Impeccable grades and a strong team. Ha! Huh, that's easy. I was not finished. You must also have the vote of your fellow team members. Finally, you must bring something to the team that no one else does. What, like being completely undefeated? Being careful what you say. Arrogance and strength do not go hand in hand. I'm telling you, it'll be a piece of cake. Who's in charge of the team? I am. Huh? Wait, who is this guy? He looks familiar. Dude, don't you watch any TV? That's Lance. He's the Indigo League champion. Our league dude. Then I guess Blueberry should watch his mouth around him. Being accepted to the battle team is one of the highest honors a student can receive in this school. It is not to be taken lightly. Lance, how long have you been standing there? I was just passing by. It's been a while, Bruno Alder. Huh, it has indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Students, this is Lance, the advisor of the battle team. Pleased to meet you all. So these are the new students that just came in? They look quite capable. I expect great things of all of you. When I was a new student at the school, I... Hey, you're the guy running the battle team? Y uh, yes, and you he should heed the advice of Alder and Bruno. For someone currently at your level, it would be impossible to get in. W what did you say? Here we go. Just because you're some big shot champion doesn't mean you can look down on me. I'm not a big shot champion, nor am I looking down on you. I'm simply stating the facts. Anyway, I'm in a hurry. I have business to attend to, and I cannot be late. Alright, it was good to see you again, Lance. Likewise, take care, Alder. Bruno. Is this guy really gonna walk out uh, without saying anything else? He has to learn to take it easy one of these days. You heard him, the battle team is a serious business. After all, it wasn't luck that our school has produced the most world champions, Elite Four members, and holds the records for most wins at the national tournament. You heard right, the top students represent Kabakon and face off against students from other schools during Pokemon League season. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool! But I don't think I'd think I'd faint from stage fright if I had to do something like that in front of all those people. Wait, she said, but I think I would. I'd means I would. Gotcha. Uh, forget what I said during this part. You do know you have to get on the team first to even consider doing something like that, right? But anyway, you shouldn't worry about things like that. 
There are much important things to take care of, after all. Like graduating on time, <laughs> Hmm, I suppose we can move on to the weight machines. Bruno, would you mind giving the, the students a little demo? Not at all. After about 30 minutes and watching Bruno go through every machine without breaking a sweat, you realize that maybe you should look after your body a, mo a bit more. Okay, that's enough for one day, students. Next class, we'll talk about the basics of Pokemon battling and how to deal with Pokemon in the wild. I'll be he, I'll be review, but don't underestimate the intricacies of the basics. Right. Well then, so long, students. Enjoy the rest of your day. Looks like the next on our schedule is lunch. I gotta handle something at the office, so you head on without me. All right. Sure thing. Take care. You know, for the probably for the whole week, for this week of the game, I should say, I will be uh, probably doing about an hour or to an hour and a half video. You know this, right, folks? Just want to make sure you know. Hey, cute guy in the red hat. That's my name. Yes. Sharon wants to see you. Already? I thought he was going to wait until after school. So did I, and so did he. And somehow we were all wrong. Isn't that weird? You said it. Well, lead the way. You find your way to Charon's table. Surprised to see a few familiar faces there. You're also surprised to see that this table, oh, which was co clearly designed to seat four her ha people, has six people crammed into it, not including yourself. You awkwardly insert yourself in and make a small talk until Charing clears his throat pointedly. Ladies and gentlemen, you're doubtlessly wondering why I've gathered you here today. Not doing anything to dispel the Charing is a mob boss notion then? May I assume you've somehow heard of my intentions towards the student council then? Yes, that's certainly part of it. As I understand it, you, Calum, are deciding as to whether or not to attempt election. That's the short of it, yes. So what are we here for, Hilbert and I? Excellent question, Hilda. You're here as representatives of the student body. I wouldn't do so to decide the future of the student body without the input of its constituents. Pass. Hilbert! I'm sorry, what? I don't represent anyone but myself. Besides, anyone who signs up for the student council is just setting themselves for failure. This dump has way more problems than a dozen councils can solve. I understand why you may feel that way, doubtlessly, others will too. I would still appreciate your input, unenthusiastic though it may be. The jaded, apathetic voter is still my demographic I'm trying to reach. Pfft, whatever. Uh, why am I here then? Well, Red, when we spoke on Friday, you motivated me. I thought I sensed in you something that could be very powerful if leveraged properly. A sort of inoffensive charisma. Inoffensive? Thanks. It's a valuable skill. And I appreciate your willingness to move our school, our scheduled meeting up. Turns out I was double booked after school. In any case, Red, I invited you here because I wanted to hear your thoughts on whether you would consider running for student council. No, I'll be too busy. Unfortunate. I suppose that saves us from the awkwardness of the this next question, then. Serena, and possibly Cal Calum. I would very much to like to work with you to become elected. However, I'm not aware her yet of your positions. It may be that we end up with political enemies. Would you share some of the points you intend to run on? Certainly. There's one more than anything else I want. Coed dorms. Eh? 
After all, we're all adults, are we not? As we do not have the freedom to live in nearby apartments, we jolly well out to have the freedom to live how we wished on campus. Well said. I'm certain this will be popular position to hold too, regardless of my personal feelings. Sounds like like what you would say guys want to want to do going to put your in direct conflict with the administration, especially you, chairman. Yeah, even if you run a great campaign, you're if you're you're going to running on a platform the school doesn't like, they'll just shut you down. That's always a concern, but Kobacon's Academy he's student council has a lot of power and an even greater budget. As long as we can get into that council, I think I can defend us from the admin. I believe in you guys. So, um, have you guys seen the garden out back yet? It's so pretty. Thank goodness for Bianca. I knew I could count on her to change the topic to something more lighthearted. I've seen it from outside, but I haven't been in there myself. We should go there sometime. Hell yeah. It'd be a god goddamn waste if we didn't. Why? What would you even do in a garden? I was thinking of perhaps pi a picnic of sorts. I hear the center of the garden is a very popular spot for students during the spring and summer. Why not just eat in a cafeteria? It's cheaper, faster, and we don't have to worry about the wind blowing everything away. It's not the same, Hilbert. You're right, it's not. Eating on a table is much better than eating on some dirt and grass. It varies, depending if the, sp if the picnic er garden area has a picnic table or not. But in this case, it doesn't. It's a hit or miss. Do you really think eating is a, in a boring room surrounded by crowds of, of people better than eating with your friends in a quiet garden? Yes. I have to agree with Hilbert. Calum? I thought that you of all people would prefer somewhere with less people around. You're not wrong, but I don't quite like the edge of idea of eating food that's so close to the floor. Who knows what it's been on the garden grounds? Pokemon, of course. Well, that's just your opinion. What does everyone else think? I'm fine with every anything. Me too. It seems the house is an e still evenly sp he what about you, Red? Um, yeah. Basically, we're gonna choose. Uh, I prefer just to get in with the ladies to make them happy. A picnic. A picnic sounds great. Yes, having a light meal surrounded by a nothing but the green nature and blue sky is sounds so romantic. One can be overexposed to romance. Whatever. It's about the, you know, atmosphere, not the actual meal. The cherry blossoms are in full bloom around this time of year. Yeah? We didn't get that in Unova. Then you can go outside and eat in the trees if you want. Everyone who doesn't like a handful of, of dirt in their sandwich can stay here. It was just a suggestion. I still prefer eating on a stable ground, but to each their own. Well, if you wanted to go to the garden anyway, it's freak access to students all day, every day. I was planning on going to get a head start on my psychic and normal classes. In what way did you plan on getting a head start? I don't know, I but I thought maybe I can take a closer look at any Pokemon that I can find there so I can find have something to compare to in class at... Is that weird? No, that is a good idea. I was planning to do something very similar. Heh <laughs> thanks. Despite Bianca's, well, ditzy personality, she's an extremely diligent student. In many ways, her focus has surpassed mine. Aw, thanks, I knew I, oh, I have to take this seriously after that big bro haha <laughs> with my dad, though. Er, yes, that was a quite a bro ha, -ha. Speak of classes, how do you plan on handling on your studies? Do you think we should hold some kind of study group? Are you concerned about what the teachers said about the graduation weight? A fixed 80% is very rough. 
Mm, just a little. There's no need to fret, but have something like graduating. Come on. I have confidence that everyone sitting here at this table will have no trouble graduating on time. What you should be concerned with is how you should spend your time outside of class. Have you dis any of you decided on your extracurricular activities yet? Oh, client clubs sign up start next week, right? Yes, and they'll run until the beginning of May. So you have plenty of time to decide. Oh, yay! I was looking at the gardening club, but I want to think about it a little bit more. Have you decided on a club yet, Sharon? I see no need. I'll have my hands full preparing for the student council elections. And I'll even be busier if I succeed. Come on. I've been clicking the left click and it hasn't worked. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys are going to be so busy. I'm still on the fence on student council myself. But as a backup plan, I plan on joining the art club. It'd be a good way to pass the time and unwind. I heard from my parents that Kobacon Academy musicals are so impressive, they can be compared to professional ones. If possible, I'd like to be able to join their pit orchestra with my violin. It'd be nice to be nice to play a musical instrument. All I can play is tennis. Then are you going to join the tennis team? This school has a tennis team? I can't even imagine joining a club. I'll be way too busy. What about you, Hilbert? I can't play tennis. No, I'm talking about if there are any clubs you're interested in. Hmm. The battle team sounds alright. I'm not surprised. Do you think you have what it takes to succeed there? Why well, wouldn't I? Unless you're doubting my abilities. You know that I'm not. I'm just curious to hear your take on the matter. Do you have any clubs in mind, Red? Clubs, huh? Right now I'm leaning towards the battle team. Because think about it. If you're a trainer from the main series Pokemon games, and your ultimate goal is to be a champion, and all the champions in this game came... Well, 90% of them. Came from Kobocon Academy, and they were on the battle team... Where would you be? The battle team! The, yeah. Going to be a champion someday, and I, I know a lot of champions from Kobocon joined the battle team. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was gonna, I had a feeling he wouldn't like it, because he, he has competitive nature, I think. Do you have any experience in Pokemon battling? I wouldn't call myself a master, but I know a thing or two. As a kid, I participated in scrimmages with others and the uh, Pokemon we had around town. But have you ever battled competitively? You can hardly call yourself a tra Pokemon trainer until you've experienced an official match. Well, no. And yet you claim that you'll be a champion someday with absolutely no proof. No evidence, not a shred of reason. You claim you have... Do you claim that you have good experience, too? I should do the exact same thing. Yeah, because there's nothing I won't do... Won't do to become a champion. By the way, don't forget that whatever club you choose, you should attend as many sessions as you can. Or don't, whatever. It's not like there's any consequences for skipping. But if you feel like dropping into another club, I'm sure they'll welcome you with open arms. Well, except for the battle team, but they're very demanding, and rightly so. Thank God. If, I, if these clubs had mandatory attendance, I wouldn't be able to attend any of them. Copacon's clubs are nice because they don't care for when you come in. Just as long as when you do, you have a good time. It's unsurprising given how rigorous our academics are. Extracurriculars are a much needed break. Mmm, all this talk about clubs is making my head hurt. Let's talk about something fun, like how amazing the food is here. You got, have you guys ever had anything like this back at home? I come from Kalos, of course. The, though the food here is rather good. 
Yeah, alright fancy pants, but for the rest of us, this shit's incredible. They must have hired some ex stupid expensive chefs. How much funding is the school getting anyway? You can't think of the results and reputation of the school. Numerous alumni historically came from some of the most renowned trainers and researchers in the world. I believe Diantha actually dropped out of Kobacon to focus on her movie career. Perhaps that's a bad example as for non-dropout alumni. Let's see, there's Alder and Bruno teaching gym class, Instructor Koga, even Steven Stone. Uh, don't forget Cynthia! You casually talk about celebrities as lunch draws to a close. It's time to go to your next class. We're going to fire types. Because we get to see our- we get to see our friends. Yeah, we're going to fire type class, let's go! Huh, we're in the same class. Looks like it's a small world. Smaller than I thought. Well, I'll never turn no more her. You wanna sit here? Don't mind if I do. Oh look, May and Serena are here. And there's Flannery near the back. She doesn't seem to notice me yet. Hello students, I'll wager you're all very excited to be here, yes? Well, it doesn't matter if you are or not, because you will be. In this fire class. For all you knuckleheads that might be in the wrong class, I'll be your instructor for the year. You can call me Blaine, and I've been researching fire Pokemon since your parents were in diapers. Yes, fire is the one most popular Pokemon types, and it's no surprise that my class is always jam-packed. Why, back in my day, at least one fire Pokemon was found on the World Champions team for 20 years running. No other Pokemon type has that honor. That's because fire type apes, apes have all the best aspects of strength and intelligence. They are naturally powerful. There's no need for any of that silly effort training this generation is so obsessed with. I remember when I was your age, my Magby and I used to. This goes on for over half an hour. You can barely keep an eye, your eyes open, combined with the warmth of the room. This produces an immense sport, sophoric effect. Sophoric effect. Surely just a little shut eye won't hurt. Your head slowly tips forward as you drift into unconsciousness, and then... You are jolted from your doziness by a sharp kick from the back of the knee. Huh? What's up, Serena? Do you really think it's acceptable to fall asleep in your first fire-type class? Was it that obvious? Oh, uh, what's... that's what you were doing? Sorry, I appreciate the help. Don't mention it. I can see why you would feel a bit drained listening to all this. No kidding! Speaking of feeling a bit drained... <laughs> Look at Flannery. She said she couldn't handle mornings, but it looks like she can't handle afternoons either. I hear the snoring, damn it. Oh my. What is that dreadful noise? Is it coming from that girl over there? Flannery, hey! Flannery, wake up, your snoring is really loud. Oh, oh, what, what happened? I just closed my eyes for a second and... Whoa, her voice just became super gentle. Pardon me, sorry my hearing is not as good as it used to be, little missy. Uh oh, I'm very sorry, Professor. This class is so warm and your voice is so soothing. I dozed off. Please forgive me. I see. Well, given your manners, I'm willing to overlook this one time. Still, you're paying too much attention to dozing off in my class again. Of course. Sorry, sir. Moving on. When the wonders of trading was first invented, the capsule system. Wow, Flannery is really different in the afternoon. She's some kind of cute to watch. Hey, Red, stop staring. Jeez, it's embarrassing. Sorry. But luckily, the PC changed all that. No more carrier, Pidgey. 
Hmm, looks like our time's up. No homework. Class is dismissed. Classmates' bonds is increased. And my fire proficiency increased to 5. Your Pokemon can reach level 5. You Just like Electric, why is it going to level 5? Tell me, guys. Why is that? It should be level 1. You turn to your homeroom as the school day draws to a close. The day didn't feel like it dragged on for that long, but all things considered, I'm ready to call it. Judged by the locks looks on everyone's faces, they look like they're ready too. The final period burns while you listen to Professor Oak talk about trivial matters. It's weird that I was expecting with class with the professor to be a little bit more, how should I put it, fulfilling? At least that's what my mother, other classmates were making it out to be earlier in the day. But so far, I haven't taken anything about out of homeroom that's especially memorable, other than the scary speech about how the school's graduation wait. I can tell you by the look on your eyes that you're quite tired of listening to me prattle on. To tell you the truth, I'm tired of it too. <laughs> but before I dismiss you, let me give you all a welcoming gift as a celebration for your acceptance into Kobacon Academy. Are those what I think they are? If so, this class just got a little bit more exciting. Today, each of you will be taking home a Pokemon for yourself, courtesy of the Academy. And each of these Pokeballs that you will receive is a random, unevolved, untamed Pokemon. Consider them your homework for the next year. Hey, I got plenty of Pokemon back home already. I don't need any more, especially unevolved ones. Regardless of what Pokemon you may already own, these Pokemon will be required to stay on hand for the rest of the time at Kobocon Academy. At the end of the year, this Pokemon will be reviewed along with yourself and other potential Pokemon in your party to determine whether or not you graduate. Gray, I just love being forced to take on liabilities. That's the spirit, Blueberry! So that's how they do it. I had assumed the school wasn't going to be all about good grades, so this is going, isn't a complete shocker. I'll call you up one by one to receive your Pokemon. Remember that you get what you, is what you get. You get what you get and you don't get upset. This takes me back when I was a kid and Professor Oak gave me Chew. I got a Vulpix, woohoo! Nice, Vulpix are pretty rare. So I bet whoever I get has to be at least equally as rare. Red. Woo! Okay. Here goes. The moment of truth. Knowing my luck, I'm going to end up with a Rattata or Bidoof. Whatever gods are out there are watching me, please don't let me down. Wait. The Pokeballs are here marked with national ID numbers. I've memorized every Pokemon that their numbers... I can just, like, pick whatever one I want. That means I can influence my choice here. Old Man Oak knows that I know the national ID numbers of every Pokemon, right? Maybe he was giving me a leg up here? We're gonna pick from a specific Pokemon. Let's look at them. Let's look at them all, okay? Uh, we got a Survivor, we got a Trapinch, a Drillbur, Stunfix, a Starly, Murkrow, Tropius, Ralts, Slowpoke, Sigilyph, Sawaddle, Ninkata, Shuckle, Larvitar, Archon, which is a, isn't that a fossil? Minior, a Litwick, Mistrevious, a Mimikyu, Sandile, Sneasel, Sableye, Baggin, Tyrant, Drampa, Aaron, Furseed, Skormory, Flabebe, Cutie Fly, Mawile, Lillipup, Dunsparce, I don't know, Charmander, Darmaka, Heatmore, Mudkip, Magikarp, <laughs> Wishy Washy, Turtwig, Petalil, Maractus, Mareep, Chinchow, Rotom, Sfeel, Snorunt, Cryognol, Timber, Riolu, Heracross, Zubat, Marini. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go find a Charmander. 
Where are you, Charmander? We're getting close, I can tell. We're going to choose Charmander because we already have a fire proficiency. Yeah, we're getting him. Boy, girl, whatever. Charmander is Charmander. Hmm. Congratulations, it's a Charmander. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Reference to Pokemon Red. Red is not complete without a Charmander. I what? You're not pulling my leg, are you? I'm not pulling anybody's leg. It's in your care now. All right. Charmander, today's my lucky day. I didn't know what to expect, but everything somehow turned out to be better than I could have imagined. Thank you. I knew the gods were looking out after me. Nice Pokemon, Red. Thanks. I actually wanted one. Did you get a Pokemon you wanted to? You bet I did. Say hello to Bulbasaur. Well, I'm going to keep him in his Pokeball for now, so I don't think he can hear you, but whatever. He's going to be awesome. Your Charmers should play with my Bulbasaur sometime. It's only natural that our Pokemon should get they should be best friends like their trainers. Since we're best for it, you got Charmander Red? Ha! That's perfect! I'm going to regret asking this, but what's wrong with a Charmander? Oh, nothing really! Except it's not as nearly as rare as my Eevee! Ha ha ha! What? It must be Divine Retribution. You're never going to beat me eat at, even at a random draws. Ha ha ha! Once this Eevee evolves, I'll be able to beat any kind of team you try to set up against me. You're powerless! I mean, sure. If you want to evolve your Eevee to beat one particular trainer's team, knock yourself out. Yo, let's check out our Pokemon on... Come on, I'll take you on. Blue, this isn't the time or place for that. Psh, whatever, my Pokemon looks like a lot stronger anyway. Hey, leave him alone. It's not nice to bully others. Oh, I, uh... And for your information, there's a lot more to winning battles than type advantage. Just ignore him. What do you get, May? A Torchic! I love fire types. So she and I are going to be best buds and I just know it. <laughs> a Torchic really suits you, May. I mean, your bow really looks, kind of reminds me of their fuzzy heads. Hey, you're right. You hear that, Torchic? This was fate. You and me were meant to be. You guys got starters? Lucky. Starters are pretty cool, but every Pokemon can be great with the right trainer. What Pokemon did you guys get? A Cleffa. It's different and kind of cute compared to my Miltank, but I'll take it. I heard these little tykes are really rare. I got a cute little normal. I'm, I'm taking the fire and ground electives, so this is just great. My family back in Lava Ridge had tons of these. Somehow I never got one. Might not be the best in battle, but I still love them. Really? Isn't one of the... Isn't it one of the few Pokemon in the world that can learn to earn Eruption? Yeah, isn't Magmar one of them too? I don't know. All of there is to know about Fire Pokemon, but isn't that move super good? Sure. I mean, Camerapt are really slow, and they are super fun to cuddle with, and you can Mega Evolve them. So are we going to, going to overlook Flannery's 180 degree personality switch around noontime? Just going to lurk, huh? What about you, Hilbert? Huh? Oh, I got a cup chew. Hey, a Univamon, old territory for you, right? Ah, uh, cup chew are so adorable. At least until they become a bear tick. Hey, are you going to evolve your Cupchu? Probably. Oh, that's too bad. I can't wait to play with my Torchic. She's going to have so much fun with my Ninkata when she gets here. We can bring our Pokemon from home? The professor said that it doesn't matter what po other Pokemon we have in our party, so yeah. I'm going to get I'm getting my Dratini and Haleoptile sent to here tomorrow morning. 
I need to get them out of their Pokemon Center. They've been there, uh, for months. If they're going anything like me, they can't sit still for too long. That's not good. Have you been giving them their vitamins at all? Of course! What kind of trainer would I be? Vitamins? Old Man Oak told me that all the Pokemon needs are healthy, all-natural foods. If True really needs vitamins, he would have told me, right? What are you all standing for? Class is over. Go home already. Hmm, sweet freedom. What about you guys? What do you guys want to do now? Sorry, I've got plans. Brendan said he was hungry and he wanted me to meet up with him in the cafeteria after classes. But we just had lunch. You guys are going to stuff your faces again? You're going to get fat. Well, I'm not hungry, but Brendan wants me to come with him. So, I mean, unless you guys want to come with me. Nah, I'm okay. I'm sure Red and I can find something else to do. Huh? Seems you may have decided something for yourself again. I dare you tell me that you have plans today. Point. Yo, let's go, May. Oh, great. Have fun, you two. Give me a call if you need anything, Leaf. I have a massive stash in our room. Good to know. All right, toodles. So what do you want to do? I don't even really know what kind of stuff you like. Big fan of running? Great, I won't be doing that. Um, want to hang out in the lobby while we think of a place to go? Sure, but I don't really know any place to go around here. What are you talking about? We can go to the garden, the recreation center, the research center, or... Does any of this sound familiar to you? A few friends of mine brought up the garden earlier, but for the rest, look hook. Uh, look, my research into Kobacon was more about academics and history than geography. Hmm, I would have thought maybe you wisened up since the last time, but maybe your sense of direction isn't innately hopeless. Luckily you have me. Let's break it out the old map and see what we around the area. We're right here in that main building above the student center. So we're at the academy. Now you see all the paths on the map? Those are paths that we can take to get to the other. Look, despite the evidence on the contrary, I do know how to read a map. Alright, but if you need have any questions about the area in general, just let me know. There we go, we'll go through all of them, even though we probably know everything. Which buildings are open to students? Well, right now all of them are more or less... With the exception of the battle hall, they're all open to students throughout the day, but they close down at night. After that, you'll need special permits. So basically, once they're closed, you'll have to wait until the next day to get in. Got it. Yeah, it's kind of lame, but once they're closed, your activities will be limited to your dorm. You should really try to make out the most of your day before that. Anything else you'd like to know? Okay, follow that. What, acti what activities? There. What, acti what activities are there to do here? Yeah, I can't speak. Is there anything in particular that everyone enjoys? Not that I, that I can think of. There's plenty of stuff to, to do, but it depends on where you want to decide to visit. Depending on what you do, some activities may take a little bit of time out of your day, or may take up in your entire day. Try to manage your time and we'll plan ahead to see what you're doing. Or if you get tired or feel lazy, you can go back to your dorm after class and just kill the rest of your time there. I mean, that's the only real... He, he can't think of anything else to do, or if you have no friends. Personally, I'd like to go out and do stuff, but this school has a strict curfew, so once night, it's night, you can't leave the dorms. Yeah, I remember hearing that uh, on orientation day. Anything else? Yeah, Inspiria City. What can you tell me about the city? It's got all the cool shops and markets to visit. It's got, it's every girl's paradise. But for someone like you, I'd go vi after I've become familiar enough with the campus. I can't think of any reason to go to the city right now anyway. Anything else you'd like to know? I think I'm good. Alright, I got it. Thanks for the help. No problem. 
So now that we got all that sorted out, where do you want to go? Me? Hey, I'd say anything about going anywhere. Oh, don't be shy. Come on. Let's do go somewhere fun. It's not like I have any plans to do right now anyway. Oh, why not? You lead the way. Awesome! Let's see, how about the gym? Since the battle hall requires permission to battle here there, I bet we can catch some cool battles in the gym. Besides, you look like you could use a good workout. Hey! I'm kidding, it's obvious that you stay in shape. Probably go to the gym every day, right? And get all gross and sweaty, huffing and puffing like an overexerted slowpoke. Mean! Thief, I'm begging you, whoever taught you how to flirt, you need to stop listening to them. Hey, I don't get this from anyone. My technique is 100% Leaf Original, homegrown and homemade, fresh from my, the garden. Your technique puts me in the mood for fast food. What's fast food in this context? Yeah, what is it? Let's not. Doesn't matter, let's go! Yeah! We're still in the tutorial, I feel like. Thank God. Wow, lots of people are here. Looking at them, I'm starting to feel a bit self-conscious. It's a bit crowded. Maybe you should try somewhere else. I assumed there was going to be somewhere else after, but okay. Hmm, what's up? Hold the front door. Is that freaking Rosa? Huh? Oh yeah, it is. I mean, we took the electric elective together before, right? What? That's a lie. There's no way I didn't notice her. Totally did. Well, whatever. I'm going to talk to her. How do you know her? You kidding me? You don't know Rosa? The queen of Pokestar Studios? One of the most talented actresses ever? Well, I didn't watch many movies back in Pallet Town. And most of what I watched was on VHS, which I'm guessing is a bit older than her. Oh my god, I have so many movies to show you. She's legendary. There's one scene where her character in Time Gate Traveler gets buried under rubble and her arm is torn off. And she screams and cries so realistically that if the volume on your TV is too high, your neighbors will call the cops on you. That's... that's great. Oh, and this one uh, time when she was filming Love and Battles, the guy who played her love interest uh, actually fell in love with her. He even proposed. I read about it in a magazine. Huh. I better get more than a huh for introducing you to the best actress who ever lived. Smug. I love the smugness. It's just, I tend to prefer flicks like Diantha's more, you know? Like old black and white films? Well, some of her colored work as well, but yeah, I l the old monochromes are nice. I'm going to be the bigger woman here and let you have, have awful taste. Oh, and that's another one of her films, The Giant Woman. Even without having seen it, I can tell the director's barely disguised fetish. <laughs> it does sound like a fetish. No offense to all those people who like that thing. I'm just saying as a whole. Damn. Yeah, it really was. Well, whatever, I'm going to talk to Rosa, and then we'll be best friends, and then she'll cast me as an extra in her movies. How mercenary. Rosa! Huh? Oh, hi, you must be a fan. I totally am. Your biggest... Oh my gosh, it's Rosa. It's really you. Red, can you believe it? Sure can't. I've seen all your interviews. You're amazing. Is it really true that when you were filming Full Metal Cop, you, the international police invested the stu visited the studio because they thought you actually were an infamous jewel thief? <laughs> Maybe. But for legal reasons, no. I'm like your biggest 
fan ever. Did I say that? Whatever, it's still true. Hey, what dorm do you live in? Can I see your room sometime? Like, right now, maybe? Alright, time to intervene. Leaf, be cool. But... Nah, it's okay. I appreciate the enthusiasm. But I'm just a student here like a you. If I'm, if I'm not in front of a green screen, then there's no reason to treat me any different to anyone else. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I just never thought my idol would wind up so close to me and talking to a face-to-face -face, no less. Don't worry about it. Hi, Red. Hi. I guess you get why I was a bit weird in class before, huh? I wouldn't say that, but it does explain a couple of things. Well, miss, I don't think I caught your name. Refresh me. Oh, I'm Leaf. Leaf's my name, and this is Red, and you can call him Red. Kinda silly name, right? Silly? Um, I wouldn't. I mean, that's not the first thing I would say. I know, so silly. <laughs> It's an unspoken rule to not throw your friends under the bus leaf. I'll remember that. Whoa, look at the time. Break's over. Should get back to my workout. Sorry, guys. I gotta run. Literally. Huh. That's a good one, Rosa. <laughs> my sides hurt. Alright, nice meeting you, Leaf. Catch you later. She seems nice. She is so nice. I've heard all this horror stories about actors being huge jerks off screen, but Rosa obviously isn't anything like that. If I could just end up being friends with Rosa by the time I graduate, I would be so happy. You guys seem like you get along well. You really think so? Sure, just maybe lay off the brown nosing a bit. Excuse me, I don't... Yeah, your smug is showing. I'll try to keep it under control. So, do you still want to stay here? This place looks packed. Yeah, definitely not. Let's try somewhere else. You end up wandering around the campus for a while, while talking about nothing in particular. Under the cover of idle chatter, night descends. Is it that time of day already? Shoot, we need to head back to the dorms before we get in trouble. I was wondering, is it that big of a deal if we're caught outside after dark? Do it too often and the academy could suspend or even expel you. Personally, I'd love to go out and do stuff, but with so much time and money at st stake, it's not worth it. Anyway, Kobacon, super classy and junk, but Inspiria is full of delinquents and thugs that wander over at night sometimes. Of course my ninja skills are more than enough to beat up anyone who tries anything, something, but you might want to stay clear. I'm very delicate, yes. Whoops, I didn't mean to ramble on for so long about that. It was fun while it lasted, but we should, really should be heading back in. That's fine with me. Thanks for the tour and a tutorial on how to use the maps. Good night. Leaf wasn't kidding. This place is like a ghost town once it gets close to a curfew. Whew. Finally back. It's only first day of class and I'm already feeling like sleeping the rest of the week away. Hey guys. Hey, Chew, did you miss me? pika pee. I'd say he missed you. Ever since I got back, he hasn't stopped staring at the door. He's like a little robot. It's very endearing to watch, albeit unsettling. A little unsettling, correction. Anyway, how'd your day go for you overall? All things considered, it was alright. I got a new Pokemon, so that was pretty cool. Oh, a new Pokemon? Fantastic! I myself received a fletchling in my homeroom with Professor Sycamore. Professor Birch gave me a mudkip when this little guy evolves into a swamper, it'll be one of the best ground types from Hoenn. Except you have four times weakness to w grass. I have homeroom with Hilbert and he said he got a cub chew. Pretty sure it'll be 
beeling lining it into a bear tech though so what did you get i got a charmander which is crazy because i always wanted when i was a kid what dude i got a charmander as well no shit the coincidences are just piling up so true Hey guys, the craziest thing happened. We both picked the same electives today, same order and everything. Hmm, the odds are that are of that are quite low. Well, how are you feeling about classes? It's been fairly uneventful thus far. Not all that different from high school, to be honest. Well, a lot of people say change isn't always a good thing, so perhaps I should be counting my blessings. And I just know that these classes are going to kill me. I never felt so much academic pressure in my life. Truly, it is the only the first day of class. Don't you think it, that's a bit too early to decry the insurmountable wall? Hey man, I'm not the sharpest tool to shed. So any class from this place is tough for me at this point, you know? I basically feel, well, like nothing's actually started yet. I mean, the classes haven't had any tests, so we haven't had any battles, we haven't had to catch Pokemon. When will the school year actually begin, you know? Yeah, I get that. You just want to hit the ground running, you know? I feel like we're still, well, in the tutorial. Aw oh, man, I'm having trouble in the tutorial. I'm doomed, man. You and your roommates spend a while assuring Brendan that he is not, in fact, doomed. Eventually, the conversation wraps back around you or new Pokemon and... Come on out, Charmander! Char! Hmm, now that's what I think about it. I should give you a nickname. Yep, we are. I'm going with Scorch. Fire-type name. You know what I mean? Hmm, I think Scorch will suit you just fine. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Welcome to the team, Scorch. Wow, look at that. Uh, she likes you already. It's not too far often that you find that egg hat gets chummy with its trainer so soon after meeting him. Really? Huh, I never noticed. Scorch acting basically the same as Chu did all those years ago. Really? Huh. Maybe my Pokemon just don't trust me then? No, I don't think that's it. I was pro- I was actually quite surprised when you let Scorch out in this room, Red. I thought we'd have to duck for cover. What do you mean? She's a baby Pokemon. She can't use that- do that much damage. True. More to the point, she's not causing any damage. Hold on, I'm confused now. You guys are acting like you expected Red's buddy to go berserk in as soon as he let her out. Why were you not? She's a baby Pokemon, as you said. She hasn't received a modicum of training, but she's just being there patiently. Calamari, you're pulling your, our leg, right? That's literally just how Pokemon are. I assure you, the numerous baby starter Pokemon Professor Sycamore er, foisted on me during my internship would beg to disagree. Man, I don't know what to think now. Every Pokemon I've ever had to took weeks to feel comfortable around me. I thought that was normal, but with you two saying the opposite, maybe I'm just a bad Pokemon. You probably are. Hilbert! Let me finish. Whether anyone here is good or bad at Pokemon, Ethan in Red's experience is not typical. If we were to let our new Pokemon out right now, this room would become a disaster. So you are not one of the odd ones out of here, Brendan. Ha! Huh, sweet. Hey, wait. Isn't being one of the odd ones out a good thing here? Maybe we can ask Professor Oak about it? I wanted to ask him some questions earlier anyway. Actually, Ethan, which homeroom do you have? Given we got the same starter and electives, I'm su really surprised we don't have the same homeroom. Oh yeah, I'm with Crit, I mean, Professor Cherry. Huh. I don't remember that name from the faculty page. Yeah, she was a new hire, and she's, well, a lot. 
Anyway, I'll see if I can get to homeroom early tomorrow and ask old man, I mean, he and Professor Oak about why our Pokemon are weird. Or not. Weird, I guess. Sounds like a plan. Now I'm going to turn in. Night all. Sounds good. What about you two? Ready for bed? As you crawl into bed, you do not even have a minute to realize just how exhausted you are. Not even a minute after your head hits the pillow, you fall into a deep sleep. Okay guys, and that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next stream and or video. Peace out everybody, and bye bye